Okay, so I'm going to try another coffee dyeing effect here with you. I think I heard about this or saw this somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. So I'm going to take some pink Himalayan sea salt and I'm going to grind it over this coffee dyed paper and see what kind of effect that gives me after it dries in the oven. Um, I'm working on some summer journals and I thought maybe the, the salt um, in the water would be really cool and reminiscent of the ocean. So, oh, and thinking about that, I want to add blue. So hang on guys. All right. So I got some blue food coloring. You know, I really don't know how this is going to work. So I am just going to lean to make a mask. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple, three drops of blue in the water and take this old toothbrush and just kind of swirl it in the coffee because who doesn't like blue coffee, right? All right. Let's see. <laughs> my, my boys think it's disgusting. Oh, sweetie, it's just some thunder. You're scared of a storm coming. It's just some thunder. Okay, so let's see what that does. I don't know, but I am seeing some cool blue there. And we'll just see if that transfers. I know my fingers will be blue. All right, so I'm going to do one more sheet, and then we're going to add the salt, put it in the oven, and see what it does. Okay, so here's my grinder with my Himalayan salt. <laughs> You're getting a whole commentary today. I don't know how much salt to use. Alright, and then I think we probably need to put another layer of paper on top of it. It's almost looking greenish, but you know what? I guess the ocean can be greenish. I might put a couple, oh, maybe some blue glimmer mist. I don't know. This paper is either going to be awful or amazing. There's not going to be an in-between. Not at all. Okay. So I'm going to grab some blue glimmer mist. I'm pretty sure I have some. And I'm going to see what kind of an effect that gives spraying it. Okay. This is called blue raspberry. And I'm just going to... Do you have the food coloring? Yes, I do, Zeke. I want the food coloring. Um, oh, look at that. I'm going to make some. You know, this is just like experiment with me video. I have no idea what we're doing. Add a little bit of salt. Okay, so put it in the oven. We'll see what happens. So our salty blue paper is out of the oven, and the salt didn't do quite as much as I thought it would. Um, but if you can kind of see those speckles, they almost look like, like grease stains or salty patches. I don't know. Anyway, all the little speckling, that is from the salt. So that's how that came out. And if you wanted to see some of the blue, you can see it shimmer just a little bit here, slightly tinted, and there's a few sheets. See, see these circles? That's from the salt. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And they're just slightly blue-green tinted. I think the color of the coffee reacted with the blue and made it slightly more green. But as you can see here, there's blue all in here. So that really made some awesome. Here's um, a whole bunch of the extra ones. I tried to pull out the coolest blue ones. I'm trying to see if I missed any. Of course, there's some just amazing plain coffee dyed one here from earlier. But I hope that um, gave you another idea for using kitchen supplies. <laughs> My boys, I tell you. All right. Have a great day.